Hi there, this is Craig and Dustin from Prince George Ford. Today we're going to show you how to quickly set up the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. 2021, it's all different. There's no more stickers. Last year you had to have a checkered sticker, which your backup camera would read. This year you actually have a yaw sensor and an extra cable. So we'll begin the process and we'll show you how everything's done. Okay, so this is the yaw sensor and as you can see, there's arrows, they have to point up. So this will actually mount on the tongue of your trailer. For me, I'm gonna be placing it down in here with the arrows facing up, and then we'll connect the cable to it. It's connected with double-sided 3M tape, so we'll get that installed here shortly. Okay, we've got the double-sided tape peeled. We're gonna get this in here, arrows up, Get it in there and make sure you have a good, tight bond. So this is now the cable that's going to connect the yaw sensor to the truck. It's really long. It's actually designed that it'll actually work on a fifth wheel trailer that's got to come all the way back and outside the box. So let me get this unraveled and I'll show you how it hooks up. So this end of the cable is what goes into the yaw sensor. It goes in curved side up. Let's see if we can get this. There you go, it's connected. Okay, uh, this is super long, so I'm gonna route this cable. I won't make you watch that. We'll come back once I have the slack taken up. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken up the slack, just zap strapped it in here. Now this connection here, the door flips down, you push it in till there's no more red showing, and then this cap will lock it in place. Okay, so my truck here is the hybrid. So believe it or not, it is running even though it's sitting here doing nothing. So we're gonna connect the seven pin plug in here, the way you normally do to a trailer. And now we'll go inside and we'll see what comes up on the screen. So when you plug your seven pin connector into the back of the truck, this is what you're gonna be greeted with on the big screen. Now you can use a default trailer, but we're actually gonna add my trailer to the truck. Give the trailer a name. Just call it trailer one. Trailer type, we're a conventional trailer. And we'll save that. Okay, so by default, we have electric surge brakes or none. I do not have electric over hydraulic in this trailer, so we're just gonna save the default. I'm gonna turn my braking to medium and click save. And yes, we're gonna do the blind spot. So this is gonna ask you the width of your trailer. So yes, I am within these specs. Okay, so the system is now gonna ask you the length of your trailer. My trailer is a 26 foot trailer, which works out to be roughly eight meters. So we'll set that here, click enter. Okay, so now your blind spot is all set up and trailer one is active. Okay, so now that the trailer's set up, we're gonna set up the pro trailer backup assist, which is this button here. So we're gonna push the button we're going to select the trailer and follow the instructions. Drive straight forward until the trailer is straight behind the vehicle. Now I am slightly turned here, so we're going to pull forward. The screen will tell us when it's calibrated and is going to ask us to turn. Okay, now it's asking us to turn left or right to calibrate. Calibration complete, stop to activate. There you go, it's all set up and ready to go. Okay, so depending on what features you have on your truck, this may be the screen you see, the primary screen here. I have a 360 degree camera, so I have this view here. You can also change your views with these buttons down here to zoom, that's a 180 degree view. 
This one here is from the top of the box looking back and your rear view mirror cameras. And then you can also put it in auto. Action. Okay, so in my opinion, I think the best view that works for this is this view here. It basically turns your little trailer into a slice so you can see everything down the sides of it. So now if we want to back up, as you can see, it's going to move my steering wheel all on its own. You still operate the gas and brake. But if we want to back up and you want the trailer to go to the left, you turn the knob to the left. If you want the trailer to go to the right, you turn the knob to the right. The truck does all the steering for you. And on auto mode, it will highlight the side you need to see. So if you have any questions at all about hooking this system up or how to use it, give me a call. My name's Craig Reardon at Prince George Ford, 250-563-8111.